Hello YouTubers. Someone left a comment um, asking if I would do a video on the three black wings that I have. Actually the specific request was to uh, compare the pearl. So I'll just do all three while we're here. And uh, here is the black wing 602. And then this is the pearl which falls pretty much right in the middle and over here is the Palomino Black Wing. Okay, so those are the three uh, pencils, uh, the Black Wings that I happen to have of the Palomino brand um, from Cal Cedar. Okay, let's just go ahead and uh, take out uh, one of each. Beautiful pencils as you can see. Um, I just love them. They're uh, pretty fancy stuff. Alright, and here's the, the pearl. I guess the pearl didn't get as fancy a box as the other one, but that's okay. We'll take a pearl out. All right. And last but definitely not least is the black wing. So let's take one of those out. All right. There's, believe it or not, there's six dollars worth of pencils right here. These things are about two bucks a piece, and I'll tell you that is a lot of money to spend on a single pencil, two dollars. And I certainly hope that someday they drop the price of these. Because if they do, I will definitely be replacing a lot of my other pencils with these. Because they are pretty slick. Anyway, let's just take a look at what we're dealing with here, okay? They all have the same type of ferrule. It's the crimped flat type of ferrule, okay? And most people are aware of this because there's a lot of YouTube videos already on the black wing. Um, so I'm not going to get really, really into this part. Um, there's, of the course, the it's better being snug than not. I'm sure you would agree. And this eraser is removable so that you can um, replace it and you can adjust it as you wear it. The interesting thing is... I tend to wear the pencil out way before I'm going to wear this eraser out, so I'm not quite sure why you need a replaceable eraser. You can actually buy refills, but you must be doing a lot of erasing and a lot less writing to have to replace an eraser on a black wing. I just don't get that part. I have never even gotten close to wearing it down, and I've only adjusted it up maybe one time uh, from some bunch of erasing that I was doing. Okay, so this one here is the 602. I think you could probably see that there. Okay, that's the 602. It's kind of hard to rely on these cameras to autofocus sometimes. There we go. I just stick my finger there and then it wants to autofocus. There we go. Okay. Um, this is, this would be of the three the lightest. Okay, and I'm going to uh, sharpen these and use them in a second. This, uh, let's go with this one here. This one's the pearl, okay? Same ferrule, everything, black eraser. The other one is the black wing itself. It has the white eraser, okay? Nice um, matted black paint, gold lettering. This has a nice glossy pearl color, pearl white, black lettering. And then you've got a nice glossy uh, deep silver almost a metallic sense to it metallic silver with the gold lettering alright now I bought a box of pencils um, from a company overseas we can't quite remember where um, not these pencils it was a box of uh, Aspera pencils and they came with these cheap plastic um, sharpeners I wish I had 
a bunch of these, one for every room. I'll tell you, this is like the best sharpener I have ever owned. I, it's amazing. All right. I'm going to show you what these little puppies can do here while I just bring a little napkin here and start sharpening these pencils. Okay. And Just rolling. I mean, that is a nice. I'll get my finger in there for that focus happening again. Okay, that is a nice point. I, I just am really impressed with this little. Uh, I wish I could tell you where to get it, but it was just a little freebie that ended up uh, inside the box. It looks like it's made by the same company as the pencil. So, Aspera AP. S A R A App Sara App Sara A P S A R A. Anyway, if you're interested, I don't know if they sell this separately. It comes in the box of their pencils, and the pencils are really nice. So anyway, let's go ahead and finish the sharpening here. Uh, we're going to do the pearl. Okay. <laughs> twos so it just seems like the the pearl has a slightly darker wood I'm not sure if they're making that out of a different wood or not but anyway and after sharpening it I seem to have worn the pearl down a little bit more apparently look at that I wonder how I did that I'm going to assume they were all the same size when I started okay let's go ahead and get into the writing part now I think the writing is going to be pretty obvious. All right? If you've done any kind of searching online about these black wings, you're going to know that um, they pretty much go from their lightest to darkest. For example, let's start with the 602. The 602 is listed as firm graphite. Firm. Okay? So, if we take the 602, okay, I'm going to write black wing 602 this pencil is an excellent pencil it is smooth okay has a nice dark tone it's great for writing I absolutely uh, love this pencil okay that's the 602 all right Next, let's deal with the black wing. Now we're going to go right to the other end of the spectrum. This here is stated as soft and smooth. Okay, the 602 felt pretty soft, and it definitely felt smooth. But this is going to be softer and smoother. So maybe they should have said softer and smoother. But anyway... And the black wing, this was the first one I ever bought of the black wing series, was, was just their black wing. And this black wing, okay. Now this is, that's one word. This is definitely smoother, much smoother. And you can see that it is darker, all right. And this is great. You can write with this, of course. Um, great pencil. But one thing you're going to learn right away, because you're getting darker and smoother, um, this pencil here is going to wear faster, requiring more sharpening, or more frequent sharpening, I should say. Okay. Ugh, spell that whole thing out. All right. This is definitely a darker tone than this. This, this has more of a black tone. Okay. And that 602 
leans more in the gray area, which is interesting because that's the color of the 602 is gray, and the color of the black wing here is black. And this is definitely black, and this is more of a dark gray. So I think that's appropriate. I like them both. I mean, I always like my pencils to write the darkest, but I also don't want to have to sharpen every five seconds. And so this one will actually have better lead a retention. It will be the best of all three pencils. This will be the worst as far as lead retention, you know, sharpening, point retention, I should say. Um, you will, and I can see just visually already that the black wing has worn down a little more than the 602. Okay. And then it brings us to the purpose of this, the main purpose of this video is the pearl. All right. And the pearl is stated as balanced and smooth. And you'll notice that all three pencils, okay, are considered smooth. Even though the 602 only says firm, it's definitely, it's a definitely smooth. That is a smooth pencil. Okay, the pearl. The pearl falls in between the black wing and the 602. It is right in the middle. Okay, and that's why they call it balanced and smooth. So where it is said that the 602 is more for writing, though you can definitely write, draw, do whatever you want with that. And the black wing itself would be more for sketching and drawing rather than writing, though again you can use them for both, but it is going to wear down faster. This is going to have to be right smack in the middle. Okay, the middle, right here. Alright, this is the pearl. It is definitely a nice dark tone. Okay, it's definitely smooth. Alright, and um, I guess it just falls right in the middle of the two. Uh, not much I could say about that. You know, and you really have to look at this closely to notice that this is lighter than this. You, maybe you can see it on the camera. I don't know. Uh, it is lighter than this, but it is dark in comparison to other HB pencils that you would use. It is really fantastic. So this one's the Pearl. Smooth, writes nice and dark. Black wing. Nice and dark, smooth. And of course, the black wing 602. There you have it, folks. I don't know what else to tell you. I like all three. Um, just remember that if you want your pencils to to last longer between sharpening, go with the 602. If you want to go for the maximum softness and darkness, you go with the black wing itself, more for drawing and sketching. And if you're wanting something right in the middle, then the pearl. Uh, I would imagine a lot of people would just make the pearl their go-to pencil if they didn't want to have one of each. Um, I'm perfectly happy with any one of these, though I think for if I'm going to do a lot of writing, accounting, and things like that, and of course you can still draw really good with this, so, you know, draws just fine, any one of these pencils. But anyway, that's it, folks. Um, nothing else I could think of saying about these. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, and if you have any comments, uh, as you can see, I do read them and respond to them and uh, do appreciate them. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.